And we are live. Hello, my friends. My name is Evelyn Joy and welcome back to my channel. I'm working on finishing up a crochet project for my daughter, Deborah. She right now, she owns a lot of baby dolls. She loves baby dolls. She plays with them all the time. So I think for Christmas, I'm going to be sewing her some diapers for her baby dolls. And I'm going to be crocheting her and sewing her some clothes for her baby dolls. Um, just as special additions to her dolls. She would love for me to buy her lots more dolls. I'm not so inclined to because she already has a lot. So I want to give her like accessories for her dollies. Now her birthday is January 2nd. So she is going to get a brand new baby doll that of her choosing for her birthday because it's her birthday, you know, but for Christmas, I'm getting her accessories. Um, so what I'm doing here is, okay, so I did not crochet this shirt. This is a thrift store find, but I did crochet the pink, purple, and blue onto the bottom. I'm, I'm turning this shirt into a dress for this little dolly right here. So I'm going to put it on her and show you. So here's how it fits. It's right. So this dolly she picked out a thrift store for Christmas. So she is getting a dolly for Christmas. There you go. Um, but I'm right now I'm adding some crochet right here, just a little bit to make it fit right here better um, and not be quite so tight. Uh, so she can easily slip it on. Um, so yeah, that's the plan for this cute little dolly. This dolly can talk, I think. I'm not sure. Thrift store dollies are funny. Sometimes they make noises, sometimes they don't. I don't know. Okay, I switched it to off so that it won't surprise me by talking to me. <laughs> Save some battery in case there is battery. I don't know. All right, so I'm going back and forth a little bit on the end here to make this just a little bit wider. I'm just doing it with the blue that I was already crocheting with. So yeah, I hope you're doing well. The other thing I'm going to do this video probably is um, I'm planning on adding some glitter nail polish to the wings on this Nativity Snow Globe. Um, I want the wings to have glitter, gold glitter on them. So that is the plan. That's my other craft I'm doing this video. So I'm trying to finish up. I, okay, I'm going to take a moment break from that project and I'm going to paint this real quick so that it can be drying while we're chit-chatting. So like this star is already glittery, but more glitter is in order. So I'm going to make it more glittery and I'm going to just put, I'm not going to put it on the bottom and I'm not going to put it on the glass, but I am going to put some gold on the wings see the star is more glittery now it's so pretty just adding some glitter some gold glitter to the wings just improving upon now this was originally $27. I got it for $15 at Burlington. So that was a really good deal for a really nice um, snow globe. I realized, of course, it probably wasn't snowing in Bethlehem. <laughs> Jesus wasn't born on December 25th. And uh, Jesus, Mary, and Joseph were not white or blonde haired. They are, they are, Middle Eastern, but that is okay. They are they are Jewish. All right, so I'm adding glitter nail polish there. You can't tell it's nail polish; it just looks like it's part of the statue. Just kind of improving upon it. There we go. 
So my family, we don't really do Santa in our home, but we emphasize Jesus' birth. That's what we're about around these parts. All right, that's probably all I'm going to do. I'm going to let that dry. Maybe a little bit more <laughs> for good measure. I don't think I'm going to put any on the back. Oh, there's some here I'm going to do. There we go. So I just added some glitter to that. Pretty special. Um, and I'm going to let that dry while I'm finishing my crochet project. So, yeah. Tell me in the comments if you watch the replay or if you arrive for the live. Uh, what are you up to? What are your plans? Uh, tomorrow's Thanksgiving. Most people are, are um, having Thanksgiving dinner tomorrow. For me... I um, already celebrated Thanksgiving with my church potluck and with my brother and my kids on Saturday. We also celebrated my brother's birthday then because his birthday was on Monday. No, wait, that was Sunday. Sorry. And we got to see some family that came in town. We got to see them on Saturday. And... That was pretty nice. So we've been going back and forth about being sick. So we're not sick right now. But yesterday my kids felt a little bit sick to their stomachs. So thankfully we're just taking it easy at home. You know, reading books, playing iPads, watching movies, building with blocks, building with Legos, playing board games, doing puzzles keeping busy but staying home my kids are a little bit annoyed at how bored they are and a little bit annoyed with me so uh after this video I'm thinking I'm gonna take my kids we're gonna drive around and see some Christmas lights because people are starting to put their Christmas lights up and it's lots of fun to go see them all right I think I'm gonna do a couple more rows of this and then I'm going to use my um, I have a yarn needle that I'm going to use to sew this together, sew the sides together. So we're going to do two more rows. So this row and then one more. So yeah, I thought this dress was cute. I kept changing the colors because I would do pink for a while. Then I'd be like, let's do another color of purple. And then I'd do purple for a while and then I'd be like, Let's finish off with blue. My daughter Esther wanted me to do yellow, but this is for Deborah, and I kind of like these three colors together. I thought it looked real nice. So hopefully Miss Deborah likes it. Her favorite color is green, but Esther was already using the green. Esther was starting to make a, a crochet um, like scarf for Deborah's baby, but Esther kind of gave up on the project because it the second row was hard for her. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to turn that project into a crochet baby blanket for her baby dolls. So baby doll blanket. So, but that's going to be after this. Anyway. But we're still going to count it as being from Esther because she tried her best, you know. I also was thinking I might put some crochet flowers on this dress. That might be really pretty. So that I might do in yellow or green or something. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what we do. Anyway, this is going to be my last row that I do. And then I'm going to sew it together. There we go. I certainly appreciate this crochet shirt. What happened is it was a crochet shirt and a crochet like little dress. But my daughter kept the dress and put it on another doll. And she gave me the shirt and the doll for me to give to her for Christmas. And um, <laughs> so she's going to be surprised that I turned it into a dress. She's going to be like, oh, you did that, Mommy. Thank you. Hopefully she says that. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see what she says. <sighs> I want my kids to learn about making things for others and thinking of others and homemade Christmas gifts. We make homemade ornaments for people for Christmas. Our whole tree is homemade ornaments. That's the kind of things I want to teach my kids about this Christmas, you know? Um, also, I've bought homemade ornaments 
from friends who are making and selling ornaments this Christmas time in order to gain some more money to buy presents for their families. So I feel like even though money's tight for me, that's a really good cause um, to support some friends, buy some homemade beautiful ornaments from them. And that's so awesome. So I've got one I bought yesterday or the day before, something like that. And I think yesterday. And then also I have three more ornaments that are coming in the mail. And looking forward to that. So, yeah. I'm tying the end of this roll. I tie it like three times in case it starts to untie. It doesn't fully come unraveled. You know what I mean? I do that when I'm making jewelry and when I'm crocheting. Like triple tie it just in case. So that's looking pretty good. Right? Um, now I'm going to take my crochet needle. Let's try it back on the baby. Try it on the baby doll. You're looking very cute. Why, thank you. Okay. Okay, this is good. This is great. So, yep, that way I can sew it together just like that. That'll be perfect. And it'll fit like that. That's very nice. Okay, sounds good. All right. That will be lovely. All right. Um. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Putting some of my yarn away. Oh, I forgot I started that project. I'll continue with that one. Um, oh, I'll show you some other things I made too. I made this. Winnie the Pooh. Winnie the Pooh. I started off making it for my son, then he said he didn't want it. So I'm actually giving it to a friend of mine who's a huge Winnie the Pooh fan. Okay. Where did I put my box? Oh, there it is. It has the needles. All right. keep getting needles out of here and not putting them back so I need to find out where I've put things and put them back in their place. At least it came with several. So this is a yarn needle. It's huge and it needs to be. All right. Here we go my friends. I'm gonna thread it. There we go. Okay, I'm actually gonna double tie this. Should be good. That way it can be more strong. Double strength, so there we go. We have a knot on the end. Okay. Hello, Teacher Kelly. So I'm working on this project. Teacher Kelly was actually here uh, this morning on Cindy's Cindy Bennett's channel. We were chit-chatting and crocheting this morning, and I was working on this project, and now I'm finishing it up. So I love that my kids are the age that I can make them doll dresses. It's so fun. But yeah. I'm trying to teach them not to have too expensive of taste in toys because mom is cheap. So be thankful that I made you a dress. All right. So my daughter, she has a lot of dollies because um, she loves baby dolls. So she has quite the collection. So I'm, I'm making her doll clothes and 
She's mostly getting dolly accessories for Christmas. Miss Deborah is who I'm talking about. She is, it's also almost her birthday. She turns eight, <laughs> January 2nd. This is my second child. Esther is nine. Joshi is six. Caleb is about to turn four without my permission. I did not give him permission for these things. But yeah. <laughs> I discovered in my Zoom classes, I don't think it'll work on Facebook Live, but in my Zoom classes, when I go like this, the it worked. It worked. <gasps> did you see that? So in my Zoom classes, when I go like that, it gives hearts to the students. <gasps> so if you guys teach, uh, <laughs> I love that. If you guys teach online, you can use that at the end of class when you're saying goodbye to your students. It makes it extra special. So thank you, Zoom AI technology, for figuring that out. It's pretty cool, pretty cool. He said cute. Thank you. So... Yes. Sometimes it's weird because there'll be like random balloons on the screen and I'm like, okay, why? <laughs> what triggered the balloons? I'm so confused. Did I say happy birthday? Happy birthday. Does it work? <laughs> or maybe I smiled really big. I don't know. Sometimes you give a thumbs up. Sometimes there'll be a thumbs up that shows up on the screen. Yes. Or maybe you have to say, I like it. No, I don't know what triggers these things on the zoom but there will be a thumbs up that pops up randomly and there will be balloons that very randomly show up but i love that i can do the heart hearts hearts i love you no not working are you hosting tomorrow i am absolutely not <clears throat> what i did is um we went to a church potluck and i made two green bean casseroles and that was on Sunday night. And I invited my brother. Well, I invited my aunt and my dad and stepmom. Uh, but they chose not to come. That's fine. And uh, so my brother, my kids, and I, we went to the church potluck. It was almost my brother's birthday. He loves pumpkin pie. So I brought a pumpkin pie and I decorated it and said, happy birthday, Uncle Mark, on it. And that is our Thanksgiving. Um a lot of the key players of our holiday family get-togethers have passed away. So we are kind of the remnants, the leftover people after many have passed in our family. So we kind of, I'm just really thankful I go to a church that does a church potluck for Thanksgiving because that way I don't have to host. I don't have to, I mean, try to convince people to come celebrate with us, right? That don't want to, frankly. So that's fine. Um, so it was nice that we were able to do that. Plus my husband's from Ecuador. So Thanksgiving does not matter to him. He, I mean, he likes that I took, he likes mashed potatoes and he likes that I made a delicious soup out of the leftover turkey. So anyway, we are eating leftovers over here from the potluck. And also I went grocery shopping since the grocery stores and restaurants are going to be closed. So I went grocery shopping, got lots of groceries so that they can cook for the kids, whatever I want to, because we're going to be home. You know, I don't teach any classes online, which is going to be a bummer financially, but that's okay. All right. So I just sewed this part together and I'm going to try it on the doll. Would you like to try your new dress? Why? Well, yes, I would. There we go. So I, again, I did not make the white part, but I added on the pink, purple, and blue. This is a thrift store doll that came with a crocheted shirt. And so I just added on to it. Um, so I'm going to tie it in the back. And there we go. She's got her little shirt on. Very cute, right? And then when she bends her legs... Her legs can bend with it how it is. Very cool. I like it. So, yeah, I might make her like some bows for her hair, maybe. I don't know. Anyway, Miss Deborah, my daughter, likes dollies like this. They are called Baby Alive dolls. And then I also made this. Um, and then 
I painted glitter onto this. So, yeah. Let me check what's going on with my kiddos. Like, my son Josh, you texted me a million hearts. Aww. That's really sweet. Okay, very cool. <laughs> so, my kids have Facebook Kids Messenger. They can only message their abuela, their daddy, their mommy, and each other. And then we can see everything they message. So on their iPads. Um, so that like if it's across the house, I don't have to scream and yell for them. I can just like call them on their iPads. Um, okay. So Miss Esther started this project to make a um scarf for Deborah for for Deborah's dollies for Christmas. She did the one chain and then doing the second row was too confusing for her. So she sort of gave up on the project. So I'm going to continue the project, but we're still going to say this is from Esther. <laughs> and it's not going to be a scarf anymore. And now it's going to be a dolly baby blanket. Or maybe I'll leave it as a scarf since that's what she wanted to make. We'll see. But Deborah's favorite color is green. So yeah. Anyway. But Kelly, tell me, are you hosting tomorrow? I have hosted Thanksgiving in the past, and it was fine, but it was not great, and I'd rather not, because <laughs> a bit of family drama. Family can be dramatic, man, and it's a lot of work. All right. Pretty cool, pretty cool. So... Oh, Cindy's here. Hey. Oh, Cindy, remember when I was crocheting this this morning? I finished it. It's not perfect, but it is what it is. And then this is finished. And then I'm making a little crochet scarf right here. But yeah, this Christmas, I'm trying to teach my kids about making Christmas gifts for each other. Trying to emphasize that. So my dad and stepmom hadn't come in town for five years. And they came in town last week. And God gave us perfect weather. We met up with them at a park. And my kids got to see them and meet them. It was their first time meeting Caleb. And Joshy didn't remember them because he was one last time he saw them. So that was kind of cool. It's like bittersweet because um, it's so nice to see them, but then you're like reminded that they kind of willfully choose to be absent from your lives. Like they could, they could be more active in our lives if they wanted to. Like even while they were in town, we invited them to spend more time with us and they chose not to. So it's kind of just, oof. Knife to the heart, and then you just keep going. You keep going because it's, you know what? You can't choose for other people the way they treat you. You can only choose how you react. I could choose to make family drama about it, but I chose to um, be kind and be thankful to them that they spent an hour and a half with us at least, you know, and I sometimes will never understand the logic of other people, but um it, it stinks that my kids, you know, don't understand why um, the same way that I as a kid and as an adult don't understand why certain people that, that they should care more, they just seem not to as much, you know, they, their priorities become clear and it is what it is. You just take what you can. Oh, Kelly said, I just went to my mom. Oh, sorry. Cindy said, I just went to my mom's. And Kelly said, how's your mom? My mom's in heaven. So anyway. Um, but yeah, that's partly why we're not doing um, Thanksgiving. Sorry. <laughs> um, yeah. Sorry. I didn't. Sorry. Oh, 
colonies are hard, you know? You don't realize how much, like, both my grandparents kind of glued our family together until they're gone and they don't do it anymore. And sorry. Just like all the holiday people are gone in our family. Sorry. <laughs> I know you were asking Cindy, my bad. You're good. <coughs> Sorry. It's like, um, that's why we're just kind of, um, I focus more on Christmas because we don't celebrate Halloween and we don't do much for Thanksgiving. So we just kind of, put up our Christmas decorations on October 4th and we're one of those people that just like really enjoy Christmas because we don't do much with the other holidays hardly you know and we've got two kiddos that have birthdays right by Christmas anyway I'm sorry guys <laughs> Miss Debbie Downer over here when you're a mom you can't express sadness in front of your kids and here they come at the door checking on me Kids love, kids care so much, you know. Oh. Who's at the door? Esther. Hi, Esther. I'm crocheting on the little scarf you're making for Miss Deborah. Yeah, did you want to come in, baby? Come here, baby. Look, check it out. Do you like it? Mm -hmm. Is it pretty nice? I like it. You're going to hang out with it. So I have two pet rabbits in my office. Um, one is baby and one is rabito. And we need to give them more water. Yeah. How do you want me to make this scarf for Miss Debra? I was thinking, do you want it to be a scarf or do you want it to be a baby doll blanket? Um, a scarf. A scarf, okay. So it's almost done. Do you want me to make, put flowers on the scarf? Mm -hmm. What color flowers should we put? Um, pink and yellow. Pink and yellow. I'm not sure if I have yellow yarn right now, but we can check. Okay. How are you doing? Good. You're good. That's good. Um, so my friend Cindy and my friend Kelly are are chatting with us in the chat box, but only one person's watching, so I think maybe maybe Cindy already popped back out. That's okay. She went to her mom's house. Yeah, I think Cindy already left because she didn't respond to the question. That's okay. But yeah. Today has been a boring day. I'm sorry, Esther. What have you done that was fun today? Um, you made a sunflower. I made a sunflower. And I don't know. We were going to do board games. You know what I was thinking we could do? Yeah. Any of the kids that wants to. We're going to get in the car and we're going to drive around and see Christmas lights. But it's not the day after Thanksgiving. It's the day before Thanksgiving. I know, but some people have Christmas lights up already. We could go check it out. You want to or no? You know what this looks like? The stem of a flower. We can make a big flower on the end of it. You're like, that's not what it is, Mom. It's a green scarf and you can make flowers on it if you have to. Right? We can make sunflowers like yellow and brown. I don't know. I want you to make sunflowers and pink flowers. Yeah. Guess what? What? Tomorrow? Mm -hmm. I don't have any classes. Mm -hmm. You don't have any classes. Mm -hmm. We don't have any plans. So what should we do? <laughs> All of the places are closed tomorrow for Thanksgiving. So what should Everywhere. we do? 
Yeah. Well, all of the restaurants and all of the grocery stores will be, and all of the regular stores will be like all the all the stores will be closed for Thanksgiving. So what should we do? Which is good because I don't have extra money right now. We could. Or you guys say go to the movie theater. No, <laughs> Everything was, is closed. <laughs> I was gonna say go to the library. The library is closed too. <laughs> so, it's closed down the end. so we could go to a park if the weather's nice, or yeah, maybe we could play board games, or we could look at all of our friends are having Thanksgiving dinner tomorrow. So mm -hmm. we're just gonna have to make Christmas presents have... for each other. If we go at nighttime, we'll have the park all to ourselves. There you go. If we go in the daytime, we'll have the park all to ourselves, too, probably. So true. What do you think of this scarf? Is it looking good? Yep. We're still counting this as being from you, okay? Because you pretty much made it. I just added to it a I tiny bit. I just popped all this pop Did you know there's more than 100 of those? There's like 200, I think, on there. I tried counting it and then I gave up oh, like 150. It was too much to count it. I think it's 200. Are you counting it? No. You count by twos if you're popping them two at a time. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen. 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. Uh, hey, Esther. Uh, okay. Oh, we have two people watching. Um... One. I can't show the address. I can't show the address. I was going to make a separate unboxing video. Should I make the unboxing video? Yes. Should I? I'll just do it right now. Okay, I'm going to unbox what's in here. This is from Love in Faith. I have a subscription that's supposed to be $13 a month, but they charge me $27, so slightly deceptive. But uh, some of it is shipping, but that's okay. Oh, let's see. So they always send me a t-shirt. And they always have the best stuff, so it's totally worth it. So it says, thankful, grateful, and blessed. That's really cute. Can't wait for a choir concert. You're excited for your choir concert? Yeah. That'll be awesome. Let's see what else is then in I here. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Didn't I have piano lessons yesterday? Um, no, because of Thanksgiving, but I paid for next week's piano lessons. Because we didn't have homeschool co-op, I and because you were sick, remember you were sick to your tummy and stuff? Um, I just uh, yeah. I paid for next week's piano lesson and we skipped piano lesson yesterday. Oh uh, yeah. So because oh we've had the stomach flu going through our home and then homeschool co-op is in that city where we go to piano lessons. So since they, we didn't have that. So this will have like a devotional on one side and you take notes on the other. I saw baby stand up to the top of his cage. I know. Our baby bunny's getting so tall and stretchy. So it, they give us a card that says give thanks to the Lord for he is good. Psalm 107, 1 through 3. Awesome. I've got a sticker that says joy to the world. I love that. Oh, there's our baby bunny rabbit. Are you the cutest baby bunny rabbit? Hello, cutie. Hello. He's like, I love cuddles because I'm soft and cuddly and I'm a nice bunny rabbit. I've got joy to the world sticker. I wonder if it'll fit over this. It will. I've been waiting for a sticker to cover up this Main Street logo on this. I'm gonna I'm do just it. Gonna hang them so far into this cage, so I try and hold them down. No, actually, you know what? I have a wooden ornament on the tree upstairs that's blank. Do you know which one I mean? No. It's like a circle. And it's wooden. I'll put this on it, and this will be part of an ornament because it says "Joy to the World." I like that. We're going to turn this one into an ornament. All right. They gave me a coupon, as they always do. 
And then this is an explanation of the package. I love it. I'm going to save this to make a ornament. It's empty. It's empty, yeah. I like those boxes. They're pretty cool. All right. They're covered in Bible verses. Yeah. All right. I'm going to keep crocheting this. So... Should we drive around and see some Christmas lights? Um, maybe. Maybe. There's we'll see. Two people. There's two people watching. Oh, Cindy said my mom is doing good. There you go. Because Kelly asked Cindy how her mom was doing. All right. I think we're going to finish up. Unless. I don't know what the marshmallows in here. Oh, yeah. Should we try these? Yeah. I don't know what they are. Okay. I already had one. You already had one of the chocolates? Yeah. That's okay. Okay. <laughs> what do you think this is? Um, I don't know. Marshmallows with chocolate inside. <gasps> ding, 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 ding. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. These are from Dollar Tree, y'all. What? They're marshmallows with them. chocolate inside. I put one in my hot chocolate. It was pretty yummy. And Get yourself one, girl. Ooh, they're huge. Yeah, and they're they have chocolate inside too. Let's see if you like it. What? what? <laughs> it's chocolate inside. Mmm. Let's see if you like it. Oh, well, let's put it back in the chocolate. drawer. You have to bite all the way into the middle. It's almost like a chocolate kiss on the inside. Mmm. Mmm. And then you talk with your mouth full. <laughs> Cindy said, does Astra like it? Mm -hmm. So far, she's just eating marshmallow. Did you get to any chocolate yet? I see. Take a big bite. I'm going to have a chocolate mm. bowl. We're digging into my sweet stash. <laughs> this is like a chocolate mint. You know the bluey calendar? Mm -hmm. I added candy to it, so whoever's turn it is gets a piece of candy. And these bells are one of the candies I put in there. Mm -hmm. Oh, Cindy said she doesn't really like to eat chewy stuff. That's okay. I thought it would be nice to put in my hot chocolate because I make hot chocolate in my office. If I left the marshmallows upstairs, I know what would happen. My kids would eat too many and then get a tummy ache. Mm. So, I kept it in my office. Now they know to sneak down here and get some. <gasps> mm -mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I saw that earlier today and I didn't do it at all. Well, sounds mm -hmm. good. You have another bell. Silver bells. Silver bells. Silver bells. Mmm, yummy. Delicious. I like it. It's mint chocolate. I like it. From Dollar Tree because I'm mm. cheap. Mmm. I tried it and I'm like, that tastes like mint. And the rest of them are in the advent calendar. Oh. I ordered an, another advent calendar for myself. But it's arriving January 6th, so it's going to be slightly late, but that's okay. What's the temperature there? It keeps going up and down here. We had snow this morning. And then it got up to 47 degrees. Okay, let me see. Okay. <laughs> Here in my city, which I don't publicize what state or city I live. Um, it is 45 degrees currently and it's dark outside. Um, but tomorrow morning it's going to get down to 35 degrees. So to, today was a low of 27 and a high of 51. Tomorrow is a low of 35 and a high of 50. And Saturday it's up 40%. <gasps> Saturday is a 40% chance of snow. Mm, I was thinking um, 
I'm probably going to take the kids sledding this winter with our neighbors with our neighbor our neighbors across the street have kids the same age as my kids they even have an Esther and a Caleb they have four kids and two of them are Esther and Caleb and they have a hill that they sled on and I'm going to I have that neighbor the moms uh they're Christians but they public school and um I have the mom's phone number I can text her and ask her if we can sled with them, or if we see them sledding, we can just like cross the street and be like, hey, can we sled on your hill with you? I think they'll let us. We don't see them very often because we're both pretty busy, but when we they see them, do it's always fun. School and we do homeschool, but we're still very busy. Yeah, we're busy too. Yep. We got soccer and choir and a homeschool co op and online classes and a wanna. We keep busy. Just this week, that's kind of boring because everything's canceled. There's like homeschool co-op canceled, choir canceled. Everything's canceled for Thanksgiving. I want to cancel. Like soccer already finished. But. Uh -huh. <sighs> Online classes canceled. That's okay. Because my kids yeah. were sick, so it's kind of good to take it easy. Cindy said, I love Awana. I do, too. I specifically found this church because I wanted a good Bible church that had Awana. What? She said family game time. Family game time. Exactly. Yeah. Tomorrow we're going to play some board games. I keep telling my kids we're going to play board games, and then I end up... Like today, I taught online classes, and I, I cooked, and I took a nap. <laughs> I was tired. So tomorrow <clears throat> we will have lots of fun. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Did you enjoy seeing Grandpa Glenn and Grandma Cindy? Mm -hmm. That was fun. I think this is probably the last row for this scarf. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that sounds good. We could put it in Deborah's stocking. We could put it in Deborah's stocking. Keep up. It will like fill up the whole stocking because it's so small. Yeah, our stockings are pretty small. Except for the. Gold How about we ones. put it on this dolly and wrap it, and then we'll tell her that the scarf is from you. Okay. Does that sound good? Or you don't want to put it on this dolly? The doll is from me. Okay. No, I mean the scarf is from you. Oh, the scarf. That you could, you could, we could wrap it in the wrapping paper that you can color it in, and you could color it in, and you could put it to Deborah from Esther if you want. I don't care. You can do it. You can do it. Okay, so you've been into princess movies lately, and you just saw the movie Brave and the movie Cinderella and the movie Mulan all for the first time. And Mulan two. And Mulan two. So. What what things did you like from? Oh, and we also watched Tangled. So what did you think? And you also watched The Little Mermaid for the first time. You're really getting into watching all the princess movies for the first time. What do you think of all those movies? I love them. You love them. And then Joshy just saw. It's because we got them from the library. Joshy got that. We just saw Toy Story One, Toy Story One, Two, Three, and Four, and Cars. We already own Cars, but we got Cars Two and just watched it. So that was pretty cool. Mm -hmm. I'm nearing the well, end of my thread. Yeah, well, okay, all of these I sort of watched in passing, but anyway. Uh, you have to go by. Kelly said fun movies. Yep. We don't usually get snow until January. Really? There's, in New York? I there's was... a Cars 3, too. Uh huh. We Amen. get snow in November sometimes. Crazy. Yep. My brother's birthday is November 20th. And when he was a kid, he spent like two months praying for snow on his birthday. And my dad explained to him every night, it doesn't usually snow in November, buddy. Probably you won't get snow on your birthday. And then there was no snow, no snow. And then the day of his birthday, he was like four years old praying for snow every day or five maybe. The day of his birthday... They got a ton of snow. What? Really, for real. That was pretty cool. What was he like? And so we have pictures at my brother's house. 
mm-hmm. of him enjoying the snow because he prayed for snow for his birthday and he really got it on November 20th. I don't think I'll ever get snow for my birthday because it's October. <laughs> Only if you traveled to like Alaska. One time I was at soccer and it was so hot and it was October 6th. Yeah. In October, it can be hot sometimes, depending on the day. I'm tying some of this together. So I'm running out of running out of yarn. There we go. I think we about finished this little skirt. No likes. They'll like it later. It's fine. That's oops, I burped. Sorry, excuse me. <laughs> Do you think Deborah will like this little green scarf? Yes, yes, I think yes, so. yes, yes, yes. She doesn't have any doll scarves. Okay. Now we're gonna cut it and tie it. <laughs> my goodness. I was like, I lay down on my newspaper. I eat cute. Look how mm-hmm. cute he is. There we go. It's a scar. I didn't know there was a Cars 3. There's a Cars 3? Yeah, because Kelly said that. Oh, Kelly said there's a Cars 3 too. Yeah, probably so. We just saw Cars 1 and 2 at the library. And I was going to check out Cars 1 and 2. And then Esther was like, we own the DVD of Cars at our house. I was like, oh, okay. Well, I guess I don't need to check it out at the library then. And it was probably scratchy. We didn't really check. Yeah. At the library, I always make sure the DVDs aren't too scratched. Because if it's super scratchy, there's no reason checking it out. All right. Especially if we own it. We don't need to check Especially it Especially if out. we own it. Okay, look at this. Twisty, twisty, twisty scarf. All right, friend. Do you want to try on your new scarf? Why, yes. I would love to try on my new scarf. Oh, that's going to keep me so warm in the winter. Thank you so much. There we go. One. Oh, look at the scarf. Oh, you're so adorable. I love it. Awesome. All right. I think we're going to say thanks for watching. You ready? Bye. Thanks for watching. Bye. Give me a thumbs up. Do you want to give a heart? Let's see if we can make the hearts appear. Can we make hearts appear? Oh, there's a sporky. I made the hearts appear. I do? Do it. See if you can get it to work. I love you. You did it. Mm. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. Ooh.